Hello. We're here uh, with the tree. And we came out to see how things are doing. It's just about color in the sky from dusk. It's just about color in the New England flora as per the calendar and the season. How you doing? Uh, Zaki's convinced that we're here to do a meditation on chipmunks uh, rather than trees, so he might be a little bit distracted. Yeah, but now he's looking up at the tree. There he is. How you doing, buddy? You doing okay? He really likes this uh, old stone border. You know, wall. But, uh, quite a good sort of <coughs> chip chipmunk home. Let's see if I can give you a little. Actually, you might like to see this guy. Kind of turning bruised at the moment. We're out here near the uh, medicine wheel, and there's a this tree that has uh, oh so many lessons. This uh, tree has five trunks. Of course, uh, not being an arborist, I can't tell you if that's exactly the right term, but they feel like sort of five equal uh, bodies of the tree. Hey, how are you, buddy? You want to sit with me here? There you go. Right, so, uh, I thought he'd come out here without expectation and just practice listening to the tree. Uh, this particular tree seems to always offer lessons. At the moment, I'm thinking of, or kind of picking up the, the notion of community the sort of the five trunks the sort of five trunks that uh, kind of feel like they're maple like you know kind of dancing around the central void maybe friends or family around a campfire what do you think about this tree, Saki? What do you think? So he's uh, in that not very settled meditative state. <clears throat> no? Maybe I spoke too soon. He's having a seat, hey? And there's this cool kind of lofting arc of bark that's been here for quite some time. So it has peeled. Maybe we might say tongue-like off of this tree. Maybe I'll set it up here if you're going to sit there and they can see you and the tree. What do you think? There he is. He's listening for the chipmunk warning calls. And so, <clears throat> kind of this, the five trunks gives me a sense of the five elements, the whooshing. Or in this case, maybe the mooshing. Thank you, Saki, there you go. And the kind of, the circular relationship of those trunks, you know, kind of around That sort of central emptiness gives me a sense of the wuchi. So we have the mooshing representing the wuxing around the wuchi. 
all my organs representing each of those phases, each of those elements, themselves dancing in community around the primal Primal Wu Ching. I tried to fix the camera with a little stick, but it did not work. Yeah, you want to see? Say hi. Yeah, that didn't quite work. I tried. But didn't quite work, so we'll go back to the handheld. Doc, he's uh, circumambulating the tree here. <coughs> Starting to hear the evening sounds in the forest. And now, so he's looking up at the tree. That might have been a little jarring for you when I turned the camera that fast. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Yeah. You gonna enjoy your rock wall? I think we just heard a deer in the woods, so he's kind of focused on that now. But I've been thinking, you know, can I feel the metal? Can I feel the water that stems from that air? I, can I feel the wood phase that stems from that? Can I feel the fire that's born of the wood? Can I feel the earth? That's the result of each of these. <clears throat> and also the mother of metal. Can I feel all those dancing in sort of equal supportive communion like this tree? or five apparently equal trunks and can I have them tell stories and dance around the central emptiness and so I'm gonna with each breath see if I can feel into the organs that uh, most readily suggest those phases. So if I start with metal, which is to start with the in-breath, it really helps me focus on the lungs, the, uh, the end organ most closely associated with metal or air. I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit more pink in the sky here, and the uh, branches here are the tree that we're sitting under. Saki's sitting under the tree now, too. And he's listening to the calls in the woods behind us. So, when I inhale, <coughs> I'm really trying to feel into the lungs. It may just be the idea of the lungs. Not everybody can really quite feel them. If you can, it's nice to feel all the lobes of the lungs. On one of the next breaths, inhalations, we'll see if we can feel the kidneys, which follow the lungs. The water is born of the lungs, the metal, the air of the lungs. Even if we can just feel, we're not trying to lead the breath, just feeling in the rhythm of the breath, at the invitation, through the release of the in-breath. And I know an exhale is a release, but I mean the, the relaxative release. allowed by the in-breath. I 
at the state of exhalation. We have <clears throat> some uh, natural tension, you know. We're awaiting the next breath to live. So there's some release, relaxation allowed by the in-breath. And so on one of the next in-breaths, I want to see if I can open my awareness into the kidneys. Or the area of the kidneys, or just one kidney. I may also need to shift seats. Uh, to stare deeply into the forest. So we're doing a meditation of the tree. Saki is doing a meditation of the forest. So he definitely gets the forest for the trees, but we're stuck here at Meditation 101 <coughs> with the five trunk Wu Xing Wu Xing Wu Qi trees. So maybe one kidney, maybe the area of the kidney, maybe both, may even be the adrenals, it may even be the kidney meridian. You may feel this in the bubbling well, you may feel this in kidney 27. the first breath into the lungs, the arrival of that breath coming into me allows, supports the relaxation which allows and supports the recognition of what follows, which is water. Next is the liver <coughs> with your right hand, place it on the, the belly on the same side as your right hand. So the liver's a, a pretty big area. Really, quite quite a big zone in uh, you know in the belly. I don't know if I can move the camera in a way you can see, but just a pretty big zone. The liver itself is sort of a big triangle. Uh, you probably can't really miss the area. And anyway, we're not being that specific. But see if you can feel the the storytelling, the communion, the laughter, the family that follows from the kidneys, from water, to the liver. <clears throat> to help feel this, you can place your hand there. You can, in fact, close your hand, ordinarily the right, and make it a little bit easier, close it into a fist. Doesn't mean angry, doesn't mean punch, doesn't even mean tight, but just closing into a fist. It can help you tune into that energy, that phase, that place in the body. And we can have a few breaths there. We're sort of awaiting the natural arising of the next phase. So that's why I say I'm one of the next few breaths. The idea isn't on the fourth breath, move to somewhere else. Just stay where you are, feel the breathing. And then there'll be a shift. Just like we're shifting into autumn, just like we're shifting into night. Just like we're shifting into forest from trees. And so on one of the next few breaths. We're going to see if we can tune into the fire. The sort of catalyzing, transformative, warming, expanding energy. Which of course will be the heart. And so from the liver we get to the heart. And again, <clears throat> we don't have to be sort of super physiologically accurate. Uh, for many people it's easier to feel in the center of the chest rather than a little off center. And again, even though the heart's smaller than the liver, you know, physically speaking, uh, well, that's kind of interesting, you know. Yeah. 
Are you the sort of person whose liver feels larger than their heart? In a sort of metaphorical sense. Are you love or anger? And so, uh, it's a little bit smaller, but the idea of the heart is quite big, and that's fine. Uh, uh, I'd place the right hand on the body. If I was to place a hand to help find the heart, it wouldn't be closed. Uh, but it would be the left. Uh, I don't know how well you guys may be able to see the pink kind of had been in the north of the sky and it's coming a little bit more west and northwest. We still have this gray blue in the rest of the sky. There's even some there sort of washed out pink in the southeast sky. I can see through the woods. He's actually facing that direction now. So, uh, it doesn't have to be the hand on the heart, but it may work for you. That's fine. So feel that there's a shift from the wood element to the fire element, from the liver, at least area, to the heart, at least area. There's a shift from the sort of closing tightness, like the fist, to the, to the expanding openness of fire and heart, the warming. And we'll tune into, sense, feel, smile into, experience, live with, rest in, nest in, settle into, appreciate, open ourselves to, be attentive to, quiet for those breaths of the heart. And on one of the next breaths, <clears throat> we're going to feel that natural whooshing transformation into the spleen. So we had been uh, sort of liver before, and now we're going to be spleen, which is left hand, left. Um, sort of stomach, lower uh, torso. It'll be a little bit smaller than the liver, but it's the same general idea. Uh, I don't find that it particularly responds to closing, but I also don't find that it particularly responds to opening of the hand. Um, it kind of, for me, responds to a moving hand, like a changing hand. So, you know, maybe that to help you find it. I know this looks like a massage, but the emphasis here isn't that I'm rubbing my body and connected to the body while the hand changes at whatever pace. Justin Saki's changing now. He's still walking around the tree. He definitely knows what our focus is of the tree since we've been here. And there's a root of the tree. He hasn't kind of gone off like he normally might when we sit. And now he's sniffing at one of the roots as we talked about, and he's going to settle in right up against the tree, I think. We're still breathing in to the heart and feeling its natural transformation into the uh, earth energy. The, um, <coughs> excuse me, the spleen, this is the energy of processing, not just, uh, just kind of analyzing anxiety, worry processing, although that could be an overmuch expression of the spleen's characteristics, intents and energies. 
This is a processing experience. And our experience has been metal to water to wood to fire. You know, it's been the lungs and the air of the lungs. And then the water and the kidneys. And then the wood and the liver and then fire in the heart. And we end here, nearly end. We, we come to the end of thus far. The thus far, we come to the thus far where we're processing this whole process. And so that sort of culmination is, is a spreading energy. It's, it's processing and delivering. That sort of processing of digestion, a digesting experience. There's a, a pink of the sky, perhaps you'll be able to see. Don't really know <clears throat> how well it comes up on the phone for you. I'll let you enjoy the sunset a little. <coughs> so I okay, I'm gonna walk around the tree now, okay? as we think about sort of the digestion and the processing. There's a little notch of the tree here, which is probably very dark on the phone. It may not come out at all. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around her, say hi and say thank you. That sort of digesting, processing of experience, the spleen energy. As we continue to breathe on one of the next breaths, we're gonna see how that energy drifts into Back into the lungs. This is a way to do all this on one breath, where when we finally come around to the lungs, that's when we do the exhalation. And then on a single inhalation, we go through all four phases, all four sort of check ins with the organs, organ systems. Yeah, that's the tree. Yeah, that's the one we're checking out. It's probably pretty dark for you guys coming away from the sky, but there's Saki. Hey, buddy. So, it eventually leads us back around from the earth to air and metal of the lungs. I still hear that deer back there, I just don't see her or him. So Saki, let's come and say thank you to the tree, okay? I don't see the sky. Thank you, tree. Thank you, Saki. Well, it's very nice. Yeah. We're just gonna kinda walk away from the tree and maybe see how she looks from a distance. And Saki has just jumped ship here as I was carrying him onto a fence rail. And there's our sky, which perhaps you can see. So, thank you very much.